what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump and the Republicans have moved one step closer to reforming welfare. In fact, they call it overhauling. They're going to strip this thing and get the money out of the hands of the people who don't need it and put it into the hands of the people who needs it. Under the Republicans' proposal, most adults between 18 and 59 will be required to work part-time or enroll in 20 hours a week of workforce training to receive assistance. The plan budgets $1 billion per year to fund the training program expansion. So let me get this straight. The Republicans cut a trillion dollars in taxes for the wealthy and takes food away from the poor. Sounds about right. Let me tell you like this, y'all. I'm all for people getting off their asses and going to work if they're able-bodied. I believe that welfare should be for people who are supplementing income, right? You work, but you just ain't making enough money. And so the government does what it's supposed to do. It kicks in to help out its citizens who are working and paying their taxes. And let's say even if you wasn't working, let's say you fell on hard times, that's temporary. I'm cool with that. I don't know, six months or so, bam, you got to get back out there and get it. Our elderly should have access to SNAP. Our disabled should have access to welfare. If you are between jobs, you should have access to some type of government assistance. That is what I do believe welfare, no, nah, I'll take that back. I don't know, why did I, why did I say that? That ain't what it was intended for. They started welfare to break up black homes. Let's keep it real. Now, some people use welfare to benefit themselves and take advantage of the system, but they had a hell of a stipulation for black folks. You can't have a man in the house. And then they wonder why there aren't as many men as they would like to be in the house. This is a behavior. This is part of the conditioning process that they started. All of this stuff about what a black father and where, uh, where were they raised, who were they raised by, and it, man, education, that's all fake. They don't give a damn. They love the fact anytime they find out a black kid don't have a black father in the house. Because then they can go in and rape and pillage the, the house and do whatever they want to do with it. And then they also know that that boy is more than likely, or that girl more than likely, is going to be uh, raised in the wrong manner. Because... That daddy role is very, very important. They know this, especially with the young men. They know. So they actually like it. These people in law enforcement and court systems and politicians and stuff, man, they love it. They love it when black men are not in the home. That's why I, I'm defined with their asses. I'm with mine. I'm stay, I stay close to mine all the time. But let's get back to Donald Trump and his welfare program. Now, he's acting like he wants to overhaul 
welfare because he cares about Americans and he wants to put America back to work and have it only for the people who really, really need it. This is the same dude who says, gimme, 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 gimme. But for the people that need it the most, he tries to take whatever little crumbs that they're already receiving. He wants to take that away. But he's always looking for a break for him and his buddies. This is what rich people do. They're always looking for a break, always looking for the shortcut, always trying to get uh, financial favors, breaks from the government. But they want everybody else to pull their weight. They want everybody else to pull themselves up by the bootstraps. Here's another one. We need to test them for drugs before we give them any assistance. I don't want my tax dollars going to somebody getting high and getting drunk. Man, let me tell you something. The population that receives welfare is actually less likely to do illegal drugs than the general population. You know why? Because they ain't got the damn money. They just don't. And let me tell you something too. Most people that I know that got money do drugs. So let's stop this trying to stereotype poor people as a bunch of just poor junkies. I'm going to say it again. Most of the people that I know that have money do drugs. So what you supposed to be better because you dress nicer or you live in a nicer house. You know, you eat at fine restaurants because you get high in big office buildings instead of, you know, in, in, in a trap house. You supposed to be better? Come on, man. We got to kill that. We got to kill this mentality where we, we try to shit on the people that have less. That ain't cool. That's what's wrong with America. That's why we in the shape that we're in. Because we don't give a damn about each other. That's why. You don't care about yourself. You damn sure don't care about the next person. And once you find out that the next person don't care about you, you, see, you don't care even more. There's no evidence that exists that changing work requirements will significantly improve working behavior. Absolutely not. There is no evidence out there that shows testing people for drugs, testing the poor for drugs, is somehow going to boost the economy. None. So you got to ask yourself, if changing this policy is not going to help, if there's no evidence that changing this policy is going to help, why is it being done? Because Donald Trump and the Republicans, they got to have somebody to pick on. And they got to get everybody looking over here so they can rob everybody over here. But cutting SNAP makes perfectly good sense. If you really, really think about it in the grand scheme of things, it makes perfectly good sense. They got to figure out a way to pay those billionaire tax cuts somehow. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.